All right, I just bought these Jordan 11s on eBay. They're obviously really used, but um, I was told they were authentic, and I wanted to make a video and see what you guys thought. Um, I'll just go through a lot of the things that are typically signifiers of uh, fake Jordans. Um, one of the first things you look at is the 23 back here. The ball should be about in the middle of the 2 and the 3, um, and the 23 should be about in the middle of this. Sorry for my disgusting fingers. I was working on my car today. Um, and then, which they are on this one. And the ball pretty much is, it's pretty close. And the 23 is about in the middle on those. Um, another thing you look for is there should be no, uh, like widow's peak there, like a, a bulge where the, this material meets the, the lower material. And doesn't appear that there's one there. Also, on fakes, a lot of time you'll see something there where the material's been cut. And you don't see that on these. These are real smooth all along there. Um, so that's another good sign. Also, that doesn't look too good, but I don't think it's a sign of a fake. I think it's just used shoes starting to fray right in there. Let's take a look at those things on this one. Yeah, that looks really nice right in there. Uh, looks fairly nice here, but again, it's used, very used, as you can tell. Uh, what was the other thing I was looking at? Oh, on the front, on this boot, you can see it's a nice clean line. Uh, on fakes, a lot of times you'll see a, a cut right in there, some sort of widow's peak. Um, also, the tongue um, should hit, let's see, one, two, on like evenly on the third, in the third gap on the laces. One, two, three. Uh, both of these pretty good on that. Um, also, the the bottom looks pretty good as far as. Uh, of course, I'm not good at towing this because you don't have the fakes right beside them. So, and they're used, so they're already kind of uh, used up here. But I think the color on these is correct, um, and I also think that is correct. That pattern. Um, one other thing on the sole, again, it's been fairly worn, but that Jordan, as you can see down there, the head, it, you know, there should be a distinct head there. Uh, it shouldn't, on fakes, a lot of times it combines uh, the arm, like the left or right arm, the arm that's holding the ball to the head. Like On these, it looks pretty good. Looks like there's a distinct head there. Uh, same for this. Although you can start to see there how it's kind of connecting the chin to the arm that has the ball. Um, another thing on the stitching here, a lot of times they will, you won't see the lace, and a lot of times on fakes it'll connect the uh, shoe there. And then as far as the leather here, this looks like and feels like and it's used nice supple leather, real leather. Um, on fakes you'll see you'll see like a crinkling pattern in here. Um, it'll look really bad, and it's obviously either fake, you know, it's fake leather, basically. And especially on shoes with this many miles on them, you would have seen that here if they were fakes. That's my opinion anyway, but you guys are free to disagree. I'm sure there will be people in the comments saying, oh, those are fakes, those are fakes. But um, these are the best fakes I've ever seen <laughs> because they don't have any of the any of the things like with the logo, with the stitching around here, with the stitching on here, the finger on fakes a lot of times. It'll connect the hand to the thigh there and also uh, just the overall stitching on that looks really good especially for used I mean these are used shoes they have a lot of wear on them as you can see there but uh, that the tongue looks in good place the logos look good the cuts here and the stitching on the overlap looks good um, everything looks good to me the placement of the 23 the placement of the Jumpman logo um, everything feels good and then as far as the, the, the leather has not shown that that uh, pattern that you see on the cheap the cheap fakes. You'll see in here it won't look smooth, smooth genuine leather. It'll um, you'll get a crinkling pattern in here. It's hard to describe without actually showing you a, a fake pair right beside them. But again, these are like forty dollars um, on eBay used. Just bought them just to check the size. These are eight and a halfs, by the way. 
um, because I don't want to shell out 200, 250 on an authentic pair without knowing that this is the eight and a half will fit me correctly. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously, these are used. They were only $40, $45. Um, they've got a lot of wear and tear on them, but it'll be fun for playing basketball outside in them. I um, think that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are these real or are these fake?